Okay, I'm so excited right now because all of our custom stockings just came in. Oh my gosh. Okay, humans. And kitties. Oh, Jerry, they're perfect. Look. Look, now we get to go hang them up. Let's see Daddy's reaction. Is he gonna freak out I got you a stocking? Getting chilly? Yeah. Looks pretty good, though. Just pretty good? Uh, yeah. Not really good? I haven't tasted it yet, so oh, I that's, it's going to be really good. Okay, Jerry. Let's go. Wow, the floor is still sticky from the coconut water. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Let's go hang stockings. Um. Oh, wait. I got Jerry's just like... I also ordered me some new shoes because, you know, why not? What's up? So, I'm at the gym, obviously. Josh is doing cardio. I'm doing abs and calves today, which is my least favorite day of the week. Um, <laughs> the first workout that I, or first exercise that I'm doing is banded decline crunches on the cable machine. You can attach the bands to whatever you have. I'm doing five to five with long rests in between. Yeah, it sucks. So. <laughs> this is my setup. Get on, you know, start swimming or do sprints outside. Whatever you can do to get your heart rate up, 
will be beneficial. You don't have to have a Stairmaster, you don't have to do the same cardio that everyone on Instagram does. Just get your heart rate up. I recommend a heart rate monitor as well. Any with the chest strap is extremely effective. That way you can actually monitor how healthy your heart is becoming with the cardio that you're doing. It's not all about looking good, it's about keeping your heart healthy, your lungs healthy, everything in between. So that's kind of for cardio. And we will obviously let you guys know when that changes. Also, for abs, a lot, a lot, a lot of people, I know stomachs, me especially, me included, your stomach is your problem area. Fret not, fear not, there's a lot of people in that same boat, we're all on the same path. Your body will lose fat overall. You do not get to pick where the fat goes on, unfortunately, and you also don't get to pick where the fat comes off. So by doing abs, it doesn't mean you'll see your abs. If there's too much fat covering them, you won't see them. No different than if you have too much fat on your arms to see a bicep vein, or you know, too much fat on the back of your legs to see a hamstring tie-in. It's all the same thing. So just because you're specifically lifting, let's just say triceps, you're not going to lose your arm fat or your bat wing or whatever you call it. I've mentioned this several times, however, I know it is important for repetition and to hear it again. So do not get upset if you're lifting abs and then you're not seeing them if your diet's not on point. Your body fat needs to be low enough. The body fat percentage varies from person to person just on seeing abs. Some women can see abs at 18% body fat and some people like me need to be very, very low because my body likes to hold fat in my stomach. So obviously, that's my problem area. I know this, I have accepted this. My legs are like always super lean, so I'm like, oh, the grass is always greener, but so that's for me. Everyone is different. Some people might always have a lean stomach and their legs are, you know, where their body likes to hold their fat. Whatever the case may be, you are on your own path. If you want to lose fat in a specific area, you cannot spot reduce fat through diet and exercise no matter what social media likes to tell you, no matter what Cosmopolitan likes to tell you in the magazine rack, you cannot spot reduce fat no matter what. You cannot do it through diet, you cannot do it through exercise, you can't do it by adding foods, you can't do it by avoiding foods, you can't do it by doing certain exercises, you can't do it by avoiding certain exercises. You need to lose the body fat. Okay, now that we understand that. Abs. Josh and I lift abs once a week. That works for us. We do very challenging ab exercises and our abs are pretty much sore for the entire week. I you rarely get sore anywhere else, but for abs, for some reason, probably because it's the most underbelt muscle I have, they're always the most sore. So, if you want to lift abs every day, that's on you. For us personally, I can't even stomach lifting abs every single day because, like I just said, my abs are so sore for at least five to six days after I train them. Your abs are no different than any other muscle group. They need rest, they need rest to repair, they need rest to recover, they need rest to grow bigger, faster, stronger, better. So make sure you're giving yourself that time. That goes for every muscle group in the body, okay? So, also on calves. I'm blessed. I know a lot of people say calves are genetic. Um, they, they kind of are, in a way. If you are taller, sometimes like Josh, um, he, he always has a connection about his calves. They're beautiful, but because he is so tall, it is harder to develop like a huge calf compared to someone who's like me, 5'3". So if you do struggle in the calf department, you, Josh mentioned this several times on his Instagram, try max contraction or static contraction training. You can look it up on YouTube. There's a lot of books and videos about it. Um, I personally lift calves once a week. What you guys saw me do is a standing calf machine. If you don't have one of those, you can be seated. You could hold dumbbells at your side on a step. Modify in any way. You can do it on the leg press machine. Modify in any way, shape that you can. I then turn around to work my shins as well. I like to try to do that twice a month-ish. Um, mainly for hiking and stability purposes. So for the calves, I did four sets of 10, and I did 100 pounds. I don't like to tell you guys the weight that I use, however, I do feel it's important to make sure that you are training calves at the highest weight that you can. And then for my shin exercise, I did 50 pounds, and I did 10, four sets of 10, those as well. My entire ab workout was not that much, you guys saw it. I did five sets of five of the banded exercise, and then I did five sets of 10 on the cable crunches. And that was it. So, um, like I said, for me, I absolutely despise lifting abs. Probably because they're the most underdeveloped muscle that I have, but it's very necessary to train them, keep that core strength tight and strong, and get those abs. Because the more developed your abs are, the bigger they will become, and 
the not as low body fat percentage that you need to have. So say if you were underdeveloped abs, you need to be 12%, or you have developed abs, maybe you can see 14%. That makes sense. So I'm gonna get on the cardio machine. It's staring at me. I'm trying better to like look at the lens and not at myself, so I hope you guys see that and appreciate that. It's kind of weird to like, because I have the screen up here and then there's you guys right there. So I'm trying to do better about that. That was in a few comments. Please like, subscribe, comment on our page. It's very, very helpful. I um, hope this video is helpful for you guys. Tomorrow we have a full day. I have to go to um, the post office to get my passport renewed. I've kind of been avoiding it because it is such an annoying process, but I've been married for like two years and I want to make sure my passport reflects that. And then we have to go take the car or truck in to get some work done. And then we have a few business meetings, gym, all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm gonna get on the cardio, I'm gonna get on the Stairmaster. We will then do um, some sauna work just to get rid of this, this water. Because newsflash, apparently we have a photo shoot in a few weeks. So time to really dial it in, get it tight. So let's get it. Josh, Josh didn't lift today. Um, we had a massage earlier and he was sore all over. So he's just been doing cardio. Dat booty. So now I get to do cardio. Um, I swear the government is like making me take a test if I can fill out this passport application correctly because there's like some really bizarre questions. Like really bizarre questions here. Yeah. <clears throat> now I know why mom taught me not to talk with my mouth full. Yeah. Yeah, but why did why do they need to know where I was born? And my parents. What does that have to do with it? I don't anything? know. So my mother. Okay, thank goodness. Goodbye. When's our photo shoot? Next week sometime. Yeah, so we're doing a photo shoot next week sometime, which means Sarah really needs to dial down the food. So, let me show you guys how our meal plan works. Can you hold the camera for me? Okay. How are you going to keep the harvest stones and... So this is our meal plan, guys. So this is what gets sent to you if you order a meal plan from us. So... I weighed myself this morning, 138. Josh estimated me an 18% body fat. Look at the picture. I don't know it. Mm. The same in between these two. So do. 18%, because that's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Saying my BMR is 1,481 calories, which basically means if I didn't move at all any point throughout the day, I would burn 1,481 calories. So obviously that's not true because we work out. And we work out, we have this little key over here. So if you work out for more than six hours per week, you're gonna list your activity level as 1.5, which is what I do. So now my TDEE, or total daily energy expenditure, updates itself to 2,222 calories, which means with my workouts and my BMR, I am burning that many calories per day. So if you want to cut, you obviously need to eat less than what you're burning. So my macros will be 1,666 calories, 125 carbs, 65 fat, and 146 protein. So I will obviously update accordingly. I don't want to weigh myself every day. I don't want to get into that cycle, but I will weigh myself just to keep my numbers updated. And then also update my body fat percentage as well so that my numbers accurately reflect exactly what I'm burning. So I will use my fitness pal to log everything. If you guys have our meal plan, you know how to do that. We teach you guys how to do that. If you need help, we would love for you to become a meal plan customer. Let's do it. I already had a protein shake this morning, so I need to log that. So yeah, note to self, when you go and get your passport taken, you have to put your hair behind your ears and you can't smile with teeth. That's a lovely photo. Like, okay, US government. Wow, we're back at home. Why? So I was given the wrong form last week at the post office. I was told I needed an appointment. I went in today for my appointment with my filled out form and they told me that I filled out the wrong form and I didn't need an appointment. And that's why it cost $190 to get a passport because, yeah. 
Shout out to the US government. All right, so now I get to waste another 20 minutes filling out another form. And then go back to the post office to send it in. I feel your pain, Sarah. This is Sarah. so exciting. All right, so my next meal is gonna be one of these. The macros for those for one serving. And then cucumber. So we just finished cardio and it's like super late. It's 11, 18 p.m. But as you can see, I have 620 calories remaining. This is on my fitness pal. And if you wanna see how many macros you have left, just go to your food, hit nutrition, and tomorrow I'm gonna to show you guys how you can customize this. I'm not the biggest fan of how my fitness pal portions their macros, and we have found different equations that work better outside of what my fitness pal defaults to. So tomorrow I will show you guys how to edit that. So these are my goals based on what you guys saw this morning from the meal plan that Josh and I have created. So it shows I have 30 grams of protein left, 42 grams of carbs, 11 fiber, which actually isn't true because I wasn't able to log the fiber that I took, and 38 grams of fat remaining. So I am going to make like a little protein cookie dough thing, show you guys what I do. Also, just so you guys are aware, everyone's macros are always different, so you don't necessarily, well you shouldn't actually ever follow anyone's macros that aren't your own. So just please keep that in mind. So, I went to the store. I'm gonna use dairy-free yogurt. I'm also going to use vanilla protein. It's our own brand and the logo or the link will be here. Josh is holding the container right behind me. And because I have a lot of fat, I'm gonna do some peanut butter. Or so I'm gonna use this peanut butter or almond, it's almond butter, it's super crunchy, so I'm gonna use that. And then depending on how many calories I have left, because this will be my last meal for the day, I will put in this many carbs. We're gonna do Christmas sprinkles. Mm. So I'm hoping that this will taste like a, like a raw protein cookie dough, so we shall see. So I've showed you guys this on several other videos, however, one of the nice things about my fitness pal is that you can actually scan food. So, if you click the little barcode button up there, scan it, and then 99.9999% of foods have this. So you just scan it, and it pulls it up right there. You can manually enter it, or you can search for it, but it's nice that it's already pulled up for you. And that way, as you go, you'll know how many um, macros you have left. Josh is attempting to make the exact same thing behind me. What? What are you talking about? And there's Jerry. A scoop of our vanilla protein. Jerry, please move. Okay. I'm gonna add that too. No. So as you guys can see, after I've added those two things, my calories have reduced from six, I think 620 to 360. And my nutrition. So left, I have 10 grams of protein, 17 carbs, and still 32 grams of fat to do. So this almond butter has 16 total grams of fat. Sometimes the barcodes don't work. Oh, okay. Oh, two, I misread that. I get two tablespoons. Who am I right now? My gosh, I'm like rolling in macro heaven. Yeah. It tastes more like icing than it does. Cookie. So. Come in. So, you guys can see. So my almond butter right now, I have it set to two tablespoons, and that's one serving, so that's what I did. So if I want to do three tablespoons, I would just edit it to be one and a half servings. Darn near perfect, 10 calories remaining. You'll never get macros 100% right, so don't fret. Go to my nutrition, it was dead on with protein. I had 146 was my goal, I hit 146. I went over on carbs by two grams, but I was under on fat by three, so that's why you see that 10 calorie surplus. So, I would say that's pretty good. Maybe Sweet. make up for my... Just gonna do a half a cup of oats. Holiday. Delight.